Nothing up into the double trinity. Yeah, man. Hey, them back is making moves, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm here, man. Just had me a old good piece of rest. And uh, it is what it is, man. Austin, Texas, the Rod Rally, man. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day, man. I know it's just going to be so much shit for me to hate on, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's just going to be so much shit to hate on today, man. Because I know it's going to be a bunch of you old weird-ass nigga with these old weird-ass looking bikes. A whole bunch of no front tire, I mean, no back rims and all that old type of shit, man. Yeah, man. I'm down here in the country, man. The big old uh, place they call Austin, Texas, man. I done made it, man. That nigga Sale thought he was going to sneak down here and leave me behind, man. No, sir. Matter of fact, I got to go get my hair done today, man. Get my little clip or something. Give me some juice or something. Where am I activator at, man? I'm going to get some activator up in this motherfucker. Anyway, man. Austin, Texas, man, it's Friday the Rot Rally, man. They need to call it the Rat Rally, because that's what you motherfuckers gonna be looking like the a whole bunch of motherfuckers ugly ass rats, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So let's let's talk about what's been going on, man. <laughs> it's been a whole lot of bullshit going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, where do we start at? Let, let's start with, uh, let, let, let's start with the fact that I've already seen most of y'all post, uh, 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 I've already seen most of y'all post saying that y'all on y'all way to the rot rally. You feel what I'm saying? You're loading up trailers and shit. And you do know that y'all only live a hundred miles away from Texas. So how in the fuck is y'all talking about loading a trailer, putting your motorcycle in a trailer? This ain't even a tank of gas away. I mean, also, let's just, let's just keep this shit 1,000. You know what I'm talking about? If you can't ride your motorcycle... Mm -hmm. One tank away, just one. Then, what in the fuck do you got it for? Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, mm -hmm. let's just let's just keep this shit real. We're just gonna get to the bottom of the shit. If your bike is on a trailer right now, or later on today, or if your bike is even near a trailer. I hope that the that the axle that the trailer is 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 built on. I hope that the axle come through the bottom of the trailer 
into the top of your, into the bottom of your oil pan, put a hole in your oil pan, go through your motor, you feel what I'm saying, and tear all that shit up, man. Yeah. That's what it's gonna be. I hope the strap break on the on the I hope the strap that you use to strap the bike down with. I hope it break. You feel me? And uh it it lean it, it break and fall on the other bike that uh uh you know what I'm saying that was in the trailer with you. What you say, Steph? That's how these black folks ride here in Texas. They trailer they shit. Preach very little of us actually ride and hate them, you actually Met one of the very few blacks that actually ride there. Yeah, you know, let me see. Oh, shit, it's definitely telling on the motherfucker. Actually ride their roads of Texas back at the last roundup. Okay. All right, well, hater ain't going for that shit, man. Mm-hmm. If you shit on the trailer, man, stay away from me, man. Because at least sell. Let, let, me, let me tell you something about sale, man. That motherfucker ain't gonna spend no money on no tooth. He ain't finna get none of that shit fixed. He ain't finna pay no bills at the house. He don't give a fuck about groceries at the house. He don't give a fuck about none of that. That motherfucker gonna do everything he can to keep some gas money to ride that little stock raggedy ass motorcycle. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and as much as I wanna hate on him, it's hard for me to hate on a motherfucker that's riding that motorcycle, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just hard as hell, man. Douglas, what it do, man? I'm all, man. Oh, man, trailers and shiny bikes up in New York with my sled. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, keep that shit away from me today, man. For real. On some real shit, man. If your shit is on a trailer or next to a trailer, or matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Kill yourself. Okay. Now, that, that's the first subject. The second subject is this. I've been seeing a lot of you, you long stretch extended bags. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, long stretch extended bags and you paint jobs and you know what I'm saying? And the big wheel on the front, man. <laughs> this the funny shit. And then you niggas had a nerve to have a stock back wheel. And one nigga, I'm sorry, I gotta watch the N word. And one of y'all even painted your stock back wheel. Yeah. Like we wasn't going to recognize it was a stock back wheel. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. Oh, man. Let me tell you something about this shit there, man. This shit is simple, man. Mm-hmm. Uh... When you go to buy a pair of shoes, and I can't even stress, stress this luck. Don Ray, what up? When, when you go to buy a pair of shoes, your shoes come in two. Even when you say, I'm going to get the new Jordan. When you stand in line all night for the new Jordan, you feel what I'm saying, camp out to, like some of you stupid and crazy motherfuckers do. You feel what I'm saying? How your kids and shit letting your kids camp out all night to get a ragged ass pair of tennis shoes, man. You feel what I'm saying? And Jordan ain't even played basketball in 30 years, man. A nigga washed up somewhere in the cut waiting to die around this motherfucker. Shout out to my man Jordan. Yeah, I hope you catch sickle cell or something. Anyway, he ain't never gave me no tickets or nothing. He ain't never did nothing for me but charge me $700 for a pair of shoes. Mm-hmm. And, and, anyway, man. When you go to buy that new pair of Jordan, Jordans, okay, yeah, Jordans, he ain't got an S on it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it come in two, man. You know what I'm saying? It come in two. When you, when you buy a car, it come with at least two seats. You feel what I'm saying? Two seats. At least two seats. You can buy a two seat or two seats. You know what I'm saying? When you, when, when you, when you, when you meet, most of, most of your females, most bra. When you meet most bras, she got two holes, an ass and a coochie. You know what I'm saying? Most of your bras got two. So some of your bras, some of your niggas got two, two holes. So I mean that's kind of confusing. 
You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Basically, the long, the, the moral of the story is this, man. Two holes, man. Two phones. One for the one for the trap and one for the plug, whatever the nigga be saying. He got two. That's how your wheels come, two. Remember Chuck Willard? I see you back in two and two. Yeah, that's what that fucking mean for the wheels, man. The sign has been there all these years. The sign has been there, too. Two. 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 Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, today, if I see you with just one wheel, you feel me? Just one. If I see you with just one wheel today, I'm going to talk so bad about your ass, you're going to want to fight old Halo. But understand this. I don't know karate, but I know crazy on your motherfucking ass. So try it if you want to, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm down here, man. I'm down here, man. They got me down here, man. No rules, no dues. And probably the reason why they ain't got no rules and no dues is because the niggas don't know nothing. And they can't afford to pay nothing. Lily, what I want it, man? You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. They spent all their money on their bike. You know what I'm saying? They can't afford to, you know what I'm saying, to pay no dues. That's why they, no rules, no dues. You know what I'm talking about? And they no rules because they can't read. How they go? How they gonna read if they ain't got no rules, man? You know what I'm talking about? You, when you go, uh, when you do it, what? What'd you say, Lily? When you go live, when you do it, please. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying, for sure. I'm just saying, for sure. So I'm laying here, man, marinating this shit, trying to contemplate on what I'm gonna put on today. Matter of fact. That's the thing I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get this shit right from the beginning. Today, when I get dressed, I'm going to put on one Nike and one Reebok. Mismatch shoes for all, to match all you niggas' mismatch wheels. How about that? That way, I'm in compliance with the bullshit that you got going on. Let's just try that today. Oh, that's how you, when you still hate them today, and he got on mix Mac shoes. Most of the niggas ain't gonna act because you already understand what it is. Oh, uh, he, yeah, he, he talking about my my bike, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Lily, what you mean, knock it off? I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. No rules, no dues. Can't read, can't afford no dues. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just saying it is what it is, man. Flacco, what up, man? <laughs> Your man ate him, man. Yeah, man, I'm just speaking on some shit, man. I'm down here, man, getting ready to see, man. I'm getting ready to see all this buffoonery, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling them, Flock. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling them. Most of your females, everything you buy come in two for the most part. You know what I'm saying? When you buy cornflakes, cereal, it come at least two flakes. You feel what I'm saying? When you buy milk, you know what I'm saying? Most of you probably buy half a gallon, but two halves make... Two halves make a whole gallon. You feel what I'm saying? And most of your females come with two holes. Most of them come with two holes. And again, some of you niggas got two holes too. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? And we're we going to leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it is what it is, man. You feel what I'm saying? Two holes. Two, two is the standard number of the universal language. It takes two people to make a baby. You feel what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you don't have to fuck. Two people don't have to fuck to make a baby. They got all this new crazy shit going on now. But it takes, still take two people to make a baby. You got to have a nigga with some, with some sperm. You got to have some sperm that you got from a nigga. Uh, uh, you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We already know how Flacco getting down with the... With, hey, yo, Flock, man. Sale says, can you send him those cheap non-chrome clips that your brother sent you, or another nigga sent you, your, your brother, Big Lucky, sent you the chrome one. Because sales shit stock, so ain't nobody going to notice that he ain't got chrome this and chrome that. Really, though, you know what I'm saying? Sell, he barely got a motorcycle, so he going to appreciate whatever in the fuck you send him. So it, it don't even matter. But send them to your boy, Flock. Appreciate you. Yeah, they tell him, uh, oh, oh, hate him, thought about him. Really, though, I'm finna go out there and take one of the nigga clips out the bag and hope he dry down 35. You feel what I'm saying? And one of the bags gets sideways, man. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, you got him on the way for him. Appreciate your flock. I'll let him know, man, whenever I see 
Yeah, man. But I'm laid up in the double tree, man. All the Texas in this bitch, man. Say, man, look at look at, look at it, man. Today, hate them. I want a little bit of company, man. I just need a little bit of company, man. I'm in town. Need a little bit of company. You know, sell don't do shit. He got queen, but nigga hate him. He's off the chain. Look here. So all you low to no self-esteem bras, I let your boy hate him. And the reason why I say low to no self-esteem, because I don't need no whole bunch of smart bitches asking me a whole lot of questions about where your woman at, what kind of woman you got, eh, fuck all that. I just need somebody that's going to understand what bend over, turn over, and lift this up me. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I need, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Oh, so you said, I think you're going to be shocked how no rules, no dudes roll, mm -hmm. huh? Man, fuck no rules, no dudes. How about that? Roll that. You feel what I'm saying? How about that? Yeah. Sion Kelly, roll that, man. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I'm just saying, man. You out there. I'm all the way out here, man. Man, where my activator at, man? This shit, I don't know, man. It oh, kind of. That's kind of itching. I be seeing them. I be seeing them brawls. They be doing that shit. What that supposed to mean, man? Yeah. Ah, man, get my mind. What that little bitch? Hey! You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. But anyway, man, we down in Austin, Texas, man. I can't wait to see the motherfucking buffoonery that's going to be going down today. I'm telling you, man. Stay your stock back wheel ass away from me if you got a custom front wheel on the front. I don't give a fuck what size it is. Stay your ass away from me. Period. I'm not playing no games. I'm not playing no games. I don't care if you female, she male, man, half amazing, or whatever. Stay your ass away from me. I'm telling you, I ain't having it. Two. Two is the key word today, two. Two. Two wheels, two people, two whatever. Two. That's the key word, two. Yeah, let's get it together. All right, what up, dude? What I do, Nikki? I'm in your, well, I'm close to your town. I was in Houston. I called Pontese, man. You feel what I'm saying? To check in, man. I'm just saying. Anyway, Austin, Texas, the rot rally. I'm sorry. Austin, Texas, the rat rally, because I know that's going to be out here. A whole lot of motherfucking rats. Rats riding, rat licking ass bikes, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, right now, man. Don't pull up on me with that old ugly ass bike. Talking about what I'm saying with it looking like an FHO t shirt. No. Fuck sale, fuck his t shirts. He ain't got no t shirts. I'm in control today. Hate him. That part. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That part right there, man. Two. Two is the key word. Yeah. Two phones, all they heard, one for the trap and one for the plug, whatever the hell fuck EB say, that new rap shit, I'll be listening to that shit. But I'm here, man, Austin, Texas. Okay, oh, let, let's talk about this too, man. Let's talk about these emotions and feelings most of you niggas be in, man. You say, I'm about to see a bunch of white and Hispanic bikes looking dog ass ugly and about to see us fat, sagging, white titties. Check this out. I don't give a fuck about the white folk or the Mexicans. That's what the fuck they do. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do, man. That's white folk. White folks do white shit, man. That's what that shit, What the fuck they do. They they do all that performance shit. Now, not all of them, because I know a couple of white boys, man, that got some badass baggers. You feel what I'm saying? Got some fast motors and some pretty ass baggers. But for the majority of, these, of this shit here, these white folks is hilarious. You hear me? Period. These white folks don't give a fuck. They gonna take a frame, some go kart shopping tires, and a motherfucking handlebar. They done broke off a tree branch, and they ride, man. They gonna ride their ass off, man. And that's one thing I can't say though. They gonna ride. That that's they gonna ride some bullshit, but they gonna ride, man. So we ain't worried about the white folks. Big Manny, what up with it? Isaac, what up with it? What up with it, Miss Brandon? So anyway, man, keyword two. When you meet a bra, she got two holes. Most bras, most bras got two holes. So if you met a bra and she only had one hole, 
You ain't fucking with her. So why is you only fucking with one wheel? And most of you bros, uh, uh, most of you bras done met a nigga that got two holes. You didn't know it though. But soon as you find out, you start fucking with him. You see how? Soon as you find out he only had one, I mean, soon as you find out he had two holes, you start fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, three holes? God damn, they got three holes? I ain't, I ain't met a three hole bitch yet. Uh, three holes? Lily, y'all got three holes. They got three. Who got three holes? Lily, the, the dudes or the bra? Three holes? Damn. Uh, uh, three? That's that new freaky shit right there. Okay. Carl, man, Big Manny don't ride no trailers, man. You got Big Manny fucked up, man. Right? Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, that mouth. Oh, the three holes, that mouth. Oh, okay. Talking about what that mouth do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess bullshit do come out of these motherfucking mouths, too. So you're right. You're about right. Yeah, but well, we're going to call it mouth a pocket. That's a hot pocket. <laughs> yeah, okay, so then that's the case. Down there, everybody you meet got at least two holes. You know what I'm saying? You men got two holes, you know what I'm saying, and so forth and so else, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but they said three holes. So you niggas riding around with spiders and cat, uh, cat ass spiders and T Rexes, huh? <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be beautiful, man. Look at it, man. Hey, the beggars in the building, man. Austin, Texas, I'm in this bitch, man. I'm here, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's going down today. So, stay your stock back wheel ass away from me today. If I catch you with a stock... Oh, and you already know. Heifers, if I tap you on your shoulder, you already know what that means. Don't... If I tap you on your shoulder, just turn around and walk away. And just tell your homegirl, bitch, you ain't shit. You don't let this nigga tap me on my shoulder. Yeah, because the tap, the tap is really, it's for you, but it's to let you know your homegirls them ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah. If you out this motherfucker looking like a walking sea panda lion seal, all of them combined, you know what I'm saying? If you walking around this motherfucker like a sea panda lion seal in a dress with, with legs, and I catch your ass today, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder. If you are in this motherfucker and you're a big folks, but you're in a shop at the little folks shop, I'm tapping you on your shoulder. If you are in this motherfucker and you're about nine bags of weave, nine bags of weave, and that shit still look like a catastrophe, I'm going to tap you on your motherfucking shoulder. On some real shit, I'm going to tap you on your shoulder. On some for real shit, man. So, if you're on this motherfucker and you know your body is funny shape, you know what a funny, y'all motherfuckers know what a funny shape body look like. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what a funny, funny shaped ass body, like old Humpty Dumpty body ass motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Why the fuck you think they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together? Ain't nobody can't, can't be figuring out all them curves and shit and the motherfucking layers and shit. Fuck it, Humpty. You fell. You shouldn't have fell. You broke. Now get your motherfucking wobbly weebly ass on down the road. Some of y'all. And some of y'all, man, put some respect on your motherfucking sandals. Please put some respect on your sandals. On some real shit. Put some respect on your motherfucking sandals, man. I'm just saying, put some respect on your motherfucking sandals and your tennis shoes and your high heel. I'm saying, if you put on a four inch heel and you go to stand up and that motherfucker turn into a two inch heel, bitch, stop. Don't go no further. Take that off immediately and get them two inches of heels back. Because if you walk your ass outside, with a four inch heel that is now two or one and a half inches, then I'm telling you right now, you're gonna get tapped on your shoulder in front of everybody. And today, I'm gonna have a microphone. Yeah, hate them gonna have a microphone. 
And if I tap you, I can tap you with just the microphone. So, hey, you. Somebody tap her in the yellow dress, please. That part right there. So if you're this motherfucker and you look like a war sea lion panda chimpanzee, you feel what I'm saying? With legs and a motherfucking dress on. Uh, uh, and I tap you on the shoulders. Just, just understand what it is, man. Please understand what it is. My man Dirty D, what's up with it, man? So that's what it is, man. So matter of fact, we're gonna that's what we're gonna call it today. Put some respect on on, on your on your on your back wheel. Put some respect on your sandal, and put some respect on your motherfucking body, man. If you're a big folks and you put on some little folks shit, I'm gonna tap you on your motherfucking shoulder. Yeah. If you're shaped like the moon and you got a sundress on, I'm gonna tap you on your motherfucking shoulder. I promise you I am. I will, I promise you I will. If your motherfucking sandals are being disrespected by the motherfucking feet, I'm gonna tap you on your shoulder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I see you pulling your bike off a trailer today, I'm going to talk about your motherfucking ass, man. You rode less than a tank of gas away from your house and put your bike on a trailer. Well, uh, I was with my, I'm with my homeboy, and he, he couldn't ride his bike, so I had to bring both bikes. No. Your homeboy, if he can't ride his motherfucking bike, he stay his motherfucking ass at home. But you need to be riding your bike, though. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm just saying. On some real shit. No, no, I'm serious. Bishop on some real shit. You got these hoes out here shaped like the moon, round like the moon, but want to put on yourself know shaped like the moon, but want to put on a sundress. You feel what I'm saying? Knock it off, man. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause see, this 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 one thing. Let me let me tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong with a big girl. Niggas go, niggas like big girls. Niggas gonna fuck, nigg, nigg, niggas gonna fuck big girls. Regard big girls probably get more pussy than little girls. You know why? Cause they already understand what it is. They already understand what it is. Girl, this nigga just wants some of this, some of this pussy. That's all it is. That's all a nigga want. He ain't even tripping. She ain't tripping. She know what it is. You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Open up one of them three holes. You feel what I'm saying? And, and just get it. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. See, but the, the smaller you is, the more bullshit you got to bull. You got to buy roses, bitch want to eat, all that other shit. So that's why big girls probably get more, uh, more, more pussy or more dick. I'm sorry, than 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 law allow. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas ain't got time to be doing all that other shit. Plus, these niggas be married, be lying about being married, and all that old kind of shit. Be lying about having a boo and all that old shit. You feel what I'm saying? And a big girl really don't give a fuck no way because she knows, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But respect your motherfucking shape. You feel what I'm saying? Please do. You and this motherfucker shape like a drop can of pears from the top shelf at motherfucking uh, Publix. I done picked you up, put you back on the shelf. And another motherfucker knock you back off the shelf, uh, shelf again. So you did it all up, been poked in and all that. And then you got the nerve to try to put on a regular see-through dress. Bitch, stop. Don't do it. Please stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Because I'm going to talk about your motherfucking ass. I promise you I am. I promise you. All boys to the side. I'm going to talk about your ass. So anyway, let me get my ass up, man. I got shit to do today, man. I'm on. I got shit to do, man. So, it is what it is, man. Hey, them Beckers in Austin, Texas, and I'm looking for all of the shit to laugh at and clown at today. I'm looking for it. I'm on the hunt for it. All the buffoonery that I can find, man. For real. Uh... I'm just saying. I'm looking for it. So. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I'm looking for it, man. Two. Respect. Those are the two words for the day. Two and respect. Two. 
two and respect. You know what I'm talking about? You got to have two and you got to put some respect on it. For real. Mm-hmm. All sandals will be respected today. They will be respected today. All sandals will be respected. All front wheels will be respected today because they're going to have a matching back wheel. Today. We ain't going for that shit. We're going to put an end to this shit. You feel what I'm saying? That, that's what we're going to do. Remember how that gorilla dragged that boy around in the cage protecting him? That's what I'm going to do. So when I tap in your shoulder or whatever, I, I'm just really protecting you. You feel what I'm saying? I wish I could grab you by your motherfucking wig and drag you all around the room, but you know what I'm saying? I, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But today, to respect. To respect, respect too. That's what we're doing today. Respect too, to respect. Put some respect on them, on them figures. Put some respect on the motherfucking sandals. And put some respect on the back wheels, man. <laughs> it's your boy Hatem in Austin, man. Live in the living color, man. Again, man, no rules, no dudes. Hard riders, fuck them all, man. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck them all, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them, fuck them, and fuck them. Period. If you don't like what I said, then fuck you too. Fuck you, me. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, mate, stay tuned, mate. I hate them back in your town, mate. Don't go.